Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Andrew. Here I am in my yard in a canoe with a canoe in the background. Today I'd like to read you this story called The Forest by Claire A. Nivola. I thought of this story today because it was so bright and so quiet and there was so much going on kind of in the air with pollen flying around and birds chirping and the warm air bringing things out of the grass and the flowers and everything. It reminded me of this book. So um, if you had a day like that, you can think about that while you hear it. It's called The Forest. Here's the main character. I don't think they tell us their name, but they look like a mouse. And there they are, leaving their house. I had always been afraid of the forest, that dark and unknown place at the farthest edge of my little world. At night, I often dreamed of it and woke chilled with fear. The fear was there in the day, too, hidden inside me, no matter what I did or where I went. One night, the fear pressed so heavily on me that I could bear it no longer. In the morning, standing in the doorway of my home, I saw the cozy chair by the fire, my warm bed, and the objects I loved. I turned and closed the door behind me. I walked through the village that I knew like the back of my hand. I passed the shops and houses laid out in their familiar order, and I followed the long curve of the street. On the high road, my heart began to race. I no longer felt like myself, but small and alone in the big world. I walked on and on, past unknown farms and fields until the paved road ended. Uneasy, I looked back at my village, a dot in the distance. Looming before me, shaking its many heads slowly in the wind, stood the forest. Should I turn back? Should I run back, heart racing, to the safety of my house? No, I had come too far. But would I lose myself? Would I be devoured by some wild creature? Would I die of fear? I stepped inside of the forest between two pillar trees that stood like a gateway. My heart was pounding. A sharp bird call from behind me made me jump. Something cracked nearby and a dark shadow moved swiftly towards me, coming closer and closer. Leaping for cover, I tripped and fell headlong to the ground. Lie still, I thought. If you cry or move, you will be found. Could my thundering heart be heard outside of my head? When I opened my eyes, my nose was deep in moss, a forest of tiny trees as soft as feathers. The sunlight was raining down through the leaves and warming my back. A sweet breeze stirred my fur. I was alive! How long had I been here? A butterfly opened and shut its wings nearby, like a guardian angel. I listened. All around me, a million leaves whispered and rushed gently. I rolled over and for the first time looked up. High above, I saw the sky. The sky was bigger than the forest, bigger even than my fear had been, bigger than ever. I lay there, a speck in this enormous beauty, until the light began to fade. And 
And then, with the sweet murmuring of the world of the forest filling me, I walked the long way home. If I get really close in there, you can see the village in the distance. You might hear some birds chirping in the background here. It's that time of the evening where the world is kind of settling in. Hope you're settling in cozy, and I'll see you next time.